what once was tattered and torn has become a living testament to the resilience and compassion of the American people. In the days after 9-11, this flag hung from a building directly south from where the World Trade Center stood. The flag was removed and stitched back together seven years later by survivors of tornadoes and many other disasters across the country. So when we actually took it out of the bag in 2008, you could still smell the smoke for about a year. Jeff Parnas was on a mission to commemorate the generosity people from across the country extended to New Yorkers and became the custodian for the national 9-11 flag. We were exceptionally honored last Flag Day to have been donated three threads from the original Star Spangled Banner that flew at Fort McHenry and inspired the national anthem. It's inspired more than just patriotism during tours of 50 states. It's also created a renewed sense of service and volunteerism with a goal to inspire one and a half million kids to do something to help others. They brought the flag to the National School Board's association meeting in San Diego in hopes of growing the project. Our goal with this national conference is to go national uh, so that educators know that this is a solution for them, that it's a safe way and a positive way to talk to kids about 9-11, but get them active in service projects focused on you know, the beauty and, and the compassion that happened on 9-12. It comes at a time middle and high school history classes are now required to teach about 9-11. Fire Captain Eric Abney is the flag escort who survived Hurricane Katrina in Louisiana. He says, there's a common thread, and the flag is a symbol of something much bigger. And then what you see behind you is what this country put back together, stitch by stitch. And it was just common, everyday people who got to pull a needle and thread. And if we can take one little thing back to help rebuild our country, and it came from something that was so devastating to everybody.